Hi, this is Brent Sotoris, and I'm here to, uh, with Search Engine Journal, and I'm here today with Eli Schwartz from Survey Monkey. And uh, I understand, Eli, that you're doing quite a bit of work with international SEO, or is it international marketing in general? International um, SEO. And international SEO, and it's something that I personally have always been very interested. I think everybody has been very interested in. So the first thing I'd really like to know is how do you even approach? international SEO uh, with your company uh, or with, with your strategies? So the first thing you have to do is get your keywords right. And that's the f where I got the most lift at SurveyMonkey. Our keywords were wrong. So they were translated by PhDs. And PhDs, obviously, they translate things correctly. But it wasn't translated by an SEO. So for example, a survey, you can say it many different ways. In English, we say survey, questionnaire, poll, feedback. And it works the same in every single language. You can say it many different ways. What you want to do is make sure you're saying it the way that real people would actually search it and understand it. Of course, if you say it wrong, they're still going to understand it, but they're not going to find it. So what I do is I start off with Google Translate, throw in my main keyword, and get back all the synonyms. And then I spend a lot of time on Google in that language, searching and looking at other sites and actually trying to understand what other sites are talking about. And after many hours of that, I understand the context of all those sites and the keywords we should be using. Then I start building my list and can start auditing our own content to see if we're using the right keyword. Now, for instance, you say that you, you know, I mean, it makes sense, like, you're going to go in and, obviously, it makes sense to the concept of, like, we even say it ourselves, you know, you don't want, you know, to get pigeonholed into phrases about your company that you think are important, but that audiences aren't searching. Right. And so, when you go into that, it sounds like the process is pretty interesting, but where do you hit when those countries aren't necessarily doing proper SEO, or those niches aren't properly doing SEO? Do you actually look to find somebody that's local, like, through, like, you know, like an outsourcing service like Odesk or something where you could find some local people and then get their opinions or have you had that challenge yet? Yeah, so luckily for us, we have all of our content is translated by humans. So the last person in this process is a human translator who I actually have to kind of argue with and explain my point and say this is why we should use this keyword and negotiate and actually give my sources. And to your other question of what do I do when there's not a lot of content, so we recently translated our entire site into Turkish. Turkey does not have a lot of content on the internet. And even Wikipedia in Turkish is pretty thin. So I had to spend a lot of time on uh, different sites that aren't even related to our business. Like we do patient satisfaction questionnaires well, anybody can deploy one, and I need to go to hospitals and see the, look at hospital websites and see how they talk about the word patient satisfaction. Do they seem to talk about polling people and asking if they're satisfied and looking at that keyword? And that gives me some idea of where I need to go. So would you say that it, for somebody out there who feels like they have an audience or they have a project where it is going to be international, you feel like that really the keyword focus is probably the biggest thing that they should be looking at as an initial start? Absolutely. So if you're searching in English and you search the wrong word, you misspell a word, Google will either do a did you mean or we know you meant and they'll give you the right results. In other, language, in other languages, Google is actually pretty bad at that. So you'll put in, um, you know, let's say you spell a word wrong in German, you add an extra U, you add an extra, uh, you know, they have, sometimes have a couple N's. You add an extra letter, you'll actually get no results at all in Google. Google's phrase matching and spell correcting doesn't work. So your keywords need to be absolutely correct, and even worse, your keywords need to be spelled correctly. That's really, really interesting, and I'm, I'm going to actually talk to you a little bit more off camera about this because it's really an interesting topic. But if anybody wanted to contact you, like I'm going to talk to you, and they wanted to talk to you more about international SEO and keywords, and then going into how to get links in those keywords and all those types of things, how would they contact you? They can contact me on Twitter. So my Twitter handle is five, the number five, L E. L E. Wow. Yep. Interesting. Awesome. So thank you, Eli, very much. And uh, I definitely look forward to talking to you more about international SEO. Thank you very Thanks. much.